Welcome back to Beyond and we're on our final episode of our Introduction to Science series. Today we'll be introducing you to chemistry by looking at how to make a flare. By the end of today's lesson, you'll be able to use a Bunsen burner safely for a practical. You'll be able to carry out a flame test safely and make observations. And finally, write a detailed method including variables and come to a conclusion based on your results. Today we're going to look at some interesting parts of chemistry. Let's start with chemical reactions. How can you tell if a chemical reaction has taken place? Sometimes we'll see fizzing or bubbles where a gas has been given off. We may see a change in temperature, up or down, or we may see a change in color. Chemistry is used in everyday life, like cooking, fireworks, recycling, and more. One of the everyday uses of chemistry is a flare. Flares are used by people who are lost or in trouble and require the attention of rescue services. We want a flare to be bright and colorful, so today we're going to look into what metal compounds would be best used in a flare. If you want to do this yourself in class, click on our lesson link below and follow these steps. First, dip the splint in some water. Dip the end in a test tube sample of metal chloride, for example, copper. Turn the Bunsen burner to the blue flame, as you learned in our previous lesson, and carefully place the end of the splint into the flame. Write down any, write down any observations or colors that you see in the results table. Let's think about the variables we have in this practical. We have the independent variable. This is something you can change, and for us, it's the metal compounds that we're using. We have the dependent variable, what we measure. This is us observing the color of the flame. Finally, we have the control variable that we keep the same, the amount of chemical, the water, and the time in the Bunsen burner. Make sure that you record what you see as you test each metal using our results table. If you're doing this in class, pause the video now before we look at the answers. Now let's look at the colors we saw. Potassium, lilac. Calcium, orange red. Lithium, red. Sodium, yellow. And copper, green. So which metal color do you think would make the best flare? Tell us in the comments below. So today we learned how to carry out a flame test safely and discuss the best metal compounds to be used in a flare. So that brings us to the end of our Introduction to Science series. We hope that these skills will help you as you move from primary to secondary science and help you find the transition a little bit easier. You can watch any of the episodes again at our Introduction to Science playlist. We hope you enjoyed everything we've shown you and you can access all of these lessons through our website at the link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have lots more content coming your way. Comment below what you'd like to see next and we'll see you soon. Bye.